So the result of this is that I left home calling myself a Christian. I very much held on to that Christian label. I certainly did not reject my faith like so many kids do today, primarily because I wasn't challenged right away like those kids are today. I'm pretty sure my outcome would have been different if I had been. I married a wonderful man who was also a nominal Christian. And the good thing about it is when you put two nominal Christians together, there's enough guilt just based on what you do know that you make it to church pretty (laughs) regularly. Not all the time. It's not quite enough to get you to church every Sunday, but we were going a couple of times a month for sure. And so we picked a local church and knew nothing about selecting a church. So we just went to the local one that was closest to us. We had no idea that it was very theologically liberal. And after going there for a while, we were there one Easter Sunday. And it was in that church on that day that my first quiet crisis began. The pastor said something that pierced through my complacency. I was probably just thinking about lunch at that point. But all of a sudden, my ears perked up. And here's what he said. It doesn't really matter if Jesus rose from the dead. What matters is that he lives on in our hearts so that we can now make the world a better place. Now, (laughs) there was a lot that I did not know about my Christian faith at that time. But I did know this. If Jesus didn't really rise from the dead, then he was not who he said he was. Christianity wasn't true. And there was no way I was going to bother calling myself a Christian just to make the world a better place. Atheists can make the world a better place too. And it was that day, very ironically, that I realized that if I was going to continue calling myself a Christian, it was going to have to mean more to me than it did to that pastor. 